Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to this little cherry Christmas special video here where I'm going to take this old illustration that I did back in 2012 and remake it. It's going to be a ton of fun. So I'm just going to be diving in and just like, you know, kind of like tracing over it and tweaking it as I go to make her look like the version of cherry that we have today kind of thing. So I lowered the opacity and made a new layer on top. I'm going to dive in now, make the pencil a bit smaller. Alright, let's begin with her head. I'm going to trace over it and tweak it as we go. So sphere here for the head right there and the jaw. Let's rock it in there, ear and the back of the head. Now that jaw needs to be a bit smaller, so I'm just going to shrink it down and tuck it just underneath like that. There we go. Alright, cool. I'm just going to position the head where the hand is now, probably about there. Alright, let's draw an eye. Let's draw the iris, let's draw the eyelashes, an eyelid as well, and of course an eyebrow. Also, I'm going to fix that forehead a little bit and also draw a little fold underneath the eye. Let's add a little nose. Now, her mouth shape is a relaxed, open up mouth. Nice little mouth shape. I like that. It's the trademark of that original image. All right, now that ear needs to go up a little bit. There we go. Let's draw the hairline. Actually, I'm going to move it back just a little bit more. There we go. About there. Okay, so we've got the head shape. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, shade it in. Let's do the hair next. Yeah, let's zoom in and add some hair flopping down her forehead. Of course, the, the Santa hat. Another little trademark of the actual original uh, image. want to keep that. Got the neck. Yeah, alright, so there's Cherry's head. Yeah, okay, I like it. Now let's do the hand. Now the hand needs to be a lot smaller. I like the forearm. I'm going to keep that. Now the fingers, I'm going to tuck them in a little bit more and have the fingers just poking out like that. Let me see that. Actually, maybe we can raise it a little bit, make it a bit smaller. So, and also select this finger and make it a bit smaller as well. Yeah, there we go. I remember back in 2012, I was absolutely terrified of drawing hands. And fast forward into time, it's like one of my favorite features to draw now. Now this arm, I want to bring it down a little bit more about there. Let's just quickly sketch the silhouette. So as you can see, I'm just sketching out the hands, like just a little silhouette, scribbles of the fingers. And then later on, when I'm when I'm cleaning up and tightening up the, the actual sketch, then I dive in and have some fun drawing the features of the hand and the fingers and everything. And yeah, it's a ton of fun now. After you you practice for these years and you gain experience, it becomes a lot easier. Now the leg, I want to bring it down like that. I think it makes more sense. And I like the hair. It's a bit stiff, but I like it. I'm going to keep the way I did it back then. Uh, it's nice. I would have preferred a bit more of a wave to, to give that lovely hair blown from the wind type shape. But I'm going to keep it because it was a characteristic of the original sketch. So I want to keep some things and tweak others and uh, yeah. Right, let's see. What else can we do? Let's do the foot here. So the, ang the heel will be there. Let's bring out the foot. About there. There we go. Now she needs more of a torso, so let's just select the leg and bring it out a little bit. About there. Yeah, about there. Okay. Let's connect the rest of her torso. Stretch her out a little bit. In fact, her upper body might need to be a bit bigger as well, but let's, let's just liquefy her leg a little bit. I just absolutely love the liquefy tool in Procreate. It's unbelievable. Uh, you know, in Sketchbook Pro, is the, which is my main application I use on my Windows PC, we don't have that liquefied tool and I was always jealous of all the Photoshop guys and and now I have it on Procreate and I absolutely love it. So it saves you so much time. Now I'll just quickly um let's see now the, the upper body I wanna I wanna select it and make it a bit bigger. Have the little shadows there. Right, so let's select it now and just quickly make it a bit bigger. There we go. And we're done with Cherry. Okay. Now, obviously, right now, as I'm looking at her, she is massive and too much for the body weights of the bear. So we have to make her a bit smaller. So let's scale her down. Okay. And then uh, now we can just make a new layer and go and draw the bear now. So let's start with the spear here. Bring out the snout. His eye will be about here. An eyebrow. I might give him a furry, big, chunky eyebrow instead of like a human type eyebrow. So a slender snout, cheek there, big ears. All right, let's position it down here on the floor. Yeah, it needs a bit of work, so let me quickly erase that and do that again. So let's draw the eye. There we go, eyelid. And like I said about the eyebrow, 
I'm gonna instead of giving like a human type eyebrow, I'm gonna give him like this chunky furry eyebrows, maybe like a block like this, for example. Check this out. So a block like this and on the other side as well, kind of thing. So I'm just gonna erase that away now and have it like cuddle round the upper the eyelid there. Bigger ear. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's see. Now the eyes, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, about there. So we'll liquefy it around a little bit and position it like that. Yeah, it looks kind of more like a bear now. Okay, let's see what else. Um, all right, I want to quickly just um, select the eye and just like play around with it, positioning it up, down, maybe make it a bit bigger, see if it looks better. Maybe even smaller actually. So let me make it a bit smaller. Yeah, actually I like it smaller and position it there. Okay, cool. Nice little trick there, always play around with the features and positioning them to see if it, if it makes sense. All right, let's draw the rest of the silhouettes of the bear's body. And now that I've got that, I can scale him up now to make him big to support her body weight. So it can make sense. Yeah, roughly about there. Let's tweak it a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so the next thing I want to do is, uh, is the limbs now. So if you can see behind, you've got the original sketch behind, his arms are like out, you know, kind of a front sort of thing. So I'm going to see if I can... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have him back. Let's have him flopping backwards, make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, okay, I like that. A bit of comedy there, you know, it's kind of like a belly flop sort of thing. All right, I was going to position her and scale her up a little bit more. I feel like he can hold that kind of weight. All right, so raise that mark there. And we're done. All right, so as you can see, we have... A rough sketch of Cherry and a rough sketch of the bear, like a kind of a silhouette. So I've done my little fun little sketchy process. So what I'm going to be doing from now, from here onwards, is I'm going to fast forward the rest of the video. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, uh, do a few more tweaks on both the bear and on Cherry and a few passovers before I start cleaning them up and then render them out. So I'm going to be narrating from here onwards dig my little antlers right there, the forest twigs that he's using for antlers. I love that little touch from the original image. I'm going to keep that. Right, so let's continue now with my narration. So right now I'm going to be flipping the canvas and I'm checking it from this angle to see any elements that need to be tweaked before I go back again to this side. And now that I've done that, what I'm doing now is just one more little rough pass over and I'm going to be pushing the pose as much as I can and tweaking as much as the face, the features, and even the limbs. I remember the limbs, I didn't like the positioning. So I remember I was playing around with the limbs as well. Till I get what I visualized, uh, you know, originally from the beginning. So now I'm doing my final pass over and then I'm gonna clean her up a little bit later after I've done the bear. And talking about clean up, um, instead of using clean solid lines for my line art, I decided to stick to the pencil that I'm using, which is kind of like simulating a 4B pencil. So it's got a lot of texture to its line work, yeah? So, and I wanted to keep that because I'm a big fan of um, the traditional feel and the sketchiness of an illustration. I like sometimes to, to ink my stuff and have nice clean lines as well, but I really wanted to keep that, that sketchy, textury outline. Now here as I'm drawing the bear, you can't really see the sketch below that I'm tracing. The reason is because I made a big mistake. Um, before I started this illustration, I was working on another project and that canvas was set to CYMK. And when I made, when I started this illustration, I kept the same settings from that other canvas and I forgot to put it back to RGB. So the screen recorder that is recording in RGB um, is clashing with the CYMK canvas and what you're seeing as a result is that it boosts the brightness it boosts the contrast and even the colors were really saturated which was a bummer i didn't know until after when i finished and watched it back and i saw the colors really saturated and red and everything i was like oh no and um but thank god i've got a friend of mine who's really good with premiere and he took the raw footage and added a few layers on top and toned it down for me so thanks for that man i also turned the the canvas from a landscape to a portrait mode because i really wanted to capture an environment and build up on that mountain cliff it was something i was really missing in the in the old version there wasn't much of an environment there so here we can i think it was a nice direction of making it to portrait so you can really see the long icy mountain cliff there and the clouds behind and everything and uh, yeah it was kind of cool and um, yeah, right now I'm adding flat colors on two different layers for both Cherry and the Bear. And from there onwards, I'm just playing around with clipping masks and rendering as I go along. Now the rendering is, is kind of simple. 
um, it's kind of flattish, but um, I kind of like that because it really reminds me of like the old school uh, cartoons from back in the days. And speaking of old school, that bear, it kind of reminds me of um, this Christmas classic that I used to watch when I was a kid. And I still watch it whenever I'm decorating the tree every Christmas season. It's a cartoon classic that you probably already seen as well. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's called Santa and the Three Bears. I absolutely love that that little uh, that cartoon. I watch it every year, and uh, it kind of reminds me of the Mother Bear, right? Does it remind you of the Mother Bear? If you haven't seen it, uh, please go and Google it. You're gonna find it somewhere. Maybe it's on YouTube or something. Santa and the Three Bears. It's a beautiful story. If you like this character, my character called Cherry, if you didn't know, I have a course all about her, how to draw her. It's, a, it's actually my third version. I, I launched it, when was it, about oh, over a year ago. I launched that course on how to draw Cherry version three. And uh, you also get to pick up on all my drawing techniques. And if you like my style, you can learn my style of drawing just through that one course. It's really, really cool. I'll leave a link in the description it's under toonboxstudio.com. So, this is kind of the final image right here. I like the icy mountain, that pastel feel to it as well. It's got like a little traditional feel, I like that. It's a nice little touch. So this is the new remastered version of Cherry and the Pink Bear Christmas special. She's half dressed in the middle of winter. <laughs> I mean, it's a cartoon pin up -y type, you know, illustration. So we can forgive it. <laughs> I'm sure she's freezing by the way, but it's kind of funny actually at the same time. Right, so here's the final image, you got the icy mountain and the snow there, white snow and the big pink bear and of course Cherry in her little Santa outfit and uh, yeah. Well, this was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments if you like watching a bit of real time sketching and uh, yeah. Merry Christmas everyone and I want to wish you all and your families and your loved ones a, a happy new year and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye for now. Yeah.